Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. And today I want to talk about some new ransomware that's targeting gamers, especially since I'm a gamer myself. It's called TrueCrypt, and you can learn about it on a post from Bleeping Computer or from some research from the Bromium Research Team. Essentially, you know what ransomware is. This is the class of malware that makes your computer unusable and then extorts you for money to get it back. The latest uh, a type of ransomware that's really popular right now is called Crypto Ransomware somewhere because it specifically encrypts important files on your computer and you have to pay to get them decrypted. And of course, CryptoLocker was the really popular variant of ransomware that cost a lot of users a lot of money and really popularized this type of ransomware. In the past, uh, crypto ransomware tended to target business files, things like documents, source code, maybe things like images and videos. But TrueCrypt is the first ransomware that really targets gamers. This particular ransomware can recognize the save games, the profiles, the maps, the mods, and all the additional uh, customized files associated with the most popular 20 games. Games like uh, Call of Duty, or Minecraft, or Skyrim rim or Diablo and, and many other popular games. Once it encrypts your files, uh, TrueCrypt is a lot like other ransomware out there. It will pop up a screen telling you you have three days to pay the ransom. The ransom is about two Bitcoin or $500. It is a little unusual and these bad guys try to get you to connect to a Tor network. They're trying to anonymize their, their ransom or extortion server for you to make payments. And they of course accept payments in Bitcoin or in PayPal uh, cash cards. I believe as well. Anyways, I'm not sure how successful this particular malware will be. While things like CryptoWall and CryptoLocker were and still are very successful, they tend to target business users. You know, things like documents and CAD files are very important files that adults use and make money from. Uh, this particular ransomware seems to be bringing down the age of the victim. While there are older folks like me that play video games, you know, this will make ransomware affect some of the files that a younger age group may be interested in. Now on the flip side, younger people may not have as much income to pay for this, so I'm not sure why the attackers are, are targeting gamers in this way. In any case, if you are a gamer, it is a very interesting new piece of ransomware to be aware of. If you use uh, antivirus, it will detect some of these threats, and I especially recommend any sort of behavioral virus detection, like WatchGuard's APT blocker, to ensure you never miss even the latest zero-day malware that comes out. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching.